All right, folks, welcome back. Game five, going the full distance here for this best of five series in the OTSL Gold Finals. Ryan Pindolik versus Harib Flores. Just saw Harib uh, back and forth game there for game four. Harib ending up with the War Games victory, getting a tie game, and the tie game going to the higher seed, which is Harib. And I'm once again joined by Justin. How you doing, Justin? I'm doing all right, Craig. You know, we've seen uh, four games of this series. Three of them have been very, very entertaining, compelling uh, Twilight Struggle here, uh, mm -hmm. which is what you'd expect from a final series. So I'm hoping we see that once again and uh, see a, a nail biter here and uh, perhaps going all the way. Yeah, for sure. And I just want to throw out one disclaimer. Uh, Harib sent me a message. Uh, there was some issues with this Game 5 recording, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to... I can't remember what turn he said, but we are going to miss uh, about four ARs, I think. So we'll have to pause at that point to kind of recap what happened. Uh, just something that happened with the recording where it stopped recording and then he had to go back and hit it again. So he said it wasn't nothing too interesting happened during that time period. So just an FYI, we will pause at that point and kind of recap what we missed. And we'll get you know, underway. I, I'm no stranger to streams breaking every now and again. Um, but <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to, we're trying to work on that. Um, and Harib probably at this exact moment wishing that he selected the U.S. Uh, with this opening hand. But nonetheless. Uh, yeah, you know, not the greatest the, hand here. UN and Marshall. Can't complain about UN and Marshall. Uh, and then uh, perhaps the duck coup of Malaysia will be in order. So not, not bad as the U.S.'s are either. I guess Olympics is your headline, though. Yeah, you don't really have too much of a choice other than maybe blockade, but I like Olympic better than blockade. I, I think I'd keep blockade in the deck. Ooh, and he's going to get purged. This is ugly. Oh, boy. He okay, wins the Olympics. Very ugly. Ooh. Okay, so doesn't go with the coup. Instead, just fills a rock. Yeah. So what do you think of that? That shows a lot of weakness. I, I hmm. the Duck Coup of Malaysia is a, is a popular move, but when you're purged, it's not so great because then it's only a 50 50 shot. And yeah. if you lose that 50 50, you've handed over not only two VPs, but of course, Thailand as well. Yeah, it's a tough spot. He's, seems like Curry wants to play it a little bit safe here, just place influence and not risk a failed coup, which would be uh, very bad. And I don't love how Harib opened in Yugoslavia with independent reds in hand and then just gave it away like that. I think I'd have rather seen him in, um, in Austria. But perhaps he was thinking, well, access to Greece is important if he needs to do the whole Marshall plan, go to Greece, to Turkey thing. Mm -hmm. But with UN in hand, I would think he wouldn't even consider that. Yeah, it is nice. He got him to have to space Korean there by placing early into South Korea. Yeah, that's one of my favorite moves as the U.S., especially if I'm under containment or my opponent is under under purge, is eventing Korean War on AR1, you know, turn one AR1 or, or, or two, and just trying to steal, steal the country that way. But Harib alertly taking, uh, taking South Korea because he looks like he's going to lose out on Western Asia and perhaps Thailand as well. See what Ryan wants to do here. Definitely a tough start and spot for Harib to be in here for this game five. It's just going to keep spreading. Yeah, and just a one op coup in Malaysia. Yeah, that's you know, not going to work. He, yeah. But he needs mil ops. So just that gets him one mil op, but he it gives away a VP. Obviously, he had no choice in the matter given that uh, he couldn't space it. That was a rough start here for Harib. Yeah, I thought with taking North and South Korea, you might see China card get thrown at Pakistan for the coup. Never a fan yeah, really maybe. of giving up China card turn one, but I think here under purge and getting the bonus and cutting off Pakistan would would be worth it here. Yeah, now Ryan still needs mill ops. Okay, more He's into Middle East. Out. Oh, oh he gets my a gosh, big a move. nice monster wow. six blocks off Malaysia. And gives, uh, gives Harib a temporary Asia domination, obviously. Uh, okay, he's just going to coup back. Oh, my. <laughs> There's six. Wow, Malaysia's seeing a lot of action here, and now Harib 
So obviously very bad news for Harib. Ryan gets his mill ops. And not only that, uh, Harib in danger here of giving up a couple of VPs for mill ops. Mm-hmm. So if he just places here, he's he's conceding. Yeah, and it's, I don't know what I like here. I mean, you would think Ryan would break a rock if you go ahead and coup, but I still think I like cooing Pakistan. Man, that is an awfully conservative move for a player like Harib. I'm very surprised to see him just take Middle East countries like that. Was uh, it Harib your matchup that, I, yeah. that he gave up four VP for Milops? Turn one when you broke? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I I bullied him in Europe a little bit, but that but then he drew Truman and it, it didn't work out well for me. But uh, it worked out real well in turn one. I, yeah. That was nice because I got four VPs, which is you know that's a, that's a Middle East domination right there. Yeah, Ryan does uh, move out of Pakistan, protect against IP War, which Harib does end up drawing. Does get five year plan though, so some constellation there with Europe. Oh man, look at these ops, or rather the lack thereof. Yeah. So. Happy to see You're Vietnam dumb. decal, but yeah, but with DefCon at five, it's not as great. Um, you you just dump Europe in the headline here. Okay, you're gonna, oh. gonna go Vietnam. So turn one purge yeah. and then following up with containment here, tilting the ops in favor of Ryan once again. Yeah. Okay. So so Vietnam and then a coup. So Harib can. Oh, he's not going to coup that back. He's just going to place. Yeah. See what he wants to do here. Like you said, he doesn't have many ops. He's got to use five-year plan at the end. Well, oh. now that's out of the question. Yeah, using China. Given that China. he used the China card. So he's going to have to score the Middle East. Let's see if he does the rare move where he pulls a 50-50 sh- uh, chance with five-year plan. I mean, Europe is not dominated right now. Yeah, I think you can, and Middle East is also only one, and I, Middle East unlikely to get worse given that. I mean, I guess I guess a coup of Lebanon would make would would make it worse, but yeah. I think Ryan has other priorities. You got these two scorings, and you want to get rid of CIA before you event decal. Yep, and Harib realizing he wasn't going to win that fight that ops war even with decal in hand. Um, given that Ryan's under containment. So, yeah, you got to get rid of CIA. I, I, boy, I think I would. I was thinking about placing think one into Egypt first with CNS, but with Space Track at yeah. zero. And I also would I think I would like to go into space first because uh, you show Ryan captured Nazi, I think Ryan's going to want to go to space. Yeah, he's also showing Middle East here. Yep. So yeah, now well now uh, you're right. A one-up coup of Lebanon here is a problem for Harib. Harib obviously can coup it back, and Harib needs mill ops too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he doesn't have a good card to get mill ops there since he looks like he's going to hold five-year plan. Yeah, decal is an event. CNS is an event. Middle East is an event, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hold. He's only got two action rounds after this, so certainly you can't hold decal. Um, that would be terrible. So you have to play, you have to. Okay, and Ryan goes Grab space. space. Reeb took the Hail Mary of Libya and failed. Yep, but he, but Middle East only one VP. And so now Harib can get decal in. And get it into the reshuffle. Uh, but he is going to give up a big coup here. Uh, not sure why I didn't go Algeria there, but... Algeria seems important. But I guess with four in France, it's less important. Um, given that De Gaulle, you'd need De Gaulle to flip France, and Harib doesn't get it. Yeah, and with the high DEF CON, I'm guessing is why. But So holds five-year plan, holds CNS. Yeah, and Suez, not a particularly helpful card right now. Uh, I think CNS is your headline. And then maybe you try and get to that double space. Ryan, okay, Suez. Oh, a redraw of Middle East. So Ryan happy to just take his one out of Middle yeah. East and be done with it. All right, no big coup of Panama at that time for the red. Yeah, and now 
Ryan will not will hold on to Panama and will also get Angola out of the deal. Mm-hmm. And he's going to get Algeria too. But obviously he would have he would have gotten that regardless. Yeah, let's see if he wants to go to Angola here. The question is, does Ryan believe that Harib has Europe scoring? Although, no, never mind. Ryan knows that Harib has five-year plan. So Ryan knows that, okay. Yeah, he would just dump it. So he had a five. He had a four-op anyway, so the question was moot. If he only had a three-op, then uh, you have to choose between, reta- between taking Angola and retaking Europe dump. I'm just going to grab Asia back. Yeah, but this one can be pretty easily parried, I think, with a couple in Afghanistan. I think probably what he wants Ryan to do is take Japan. Ryan does not know that Harib has Japan, I believe. So I think he's hoping that Ryan fills up Japan to stop the domination question once and for all. And then Harib yeah, and gets get a nice free four up. up. And taking a little bit of time here thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's thinking hard about it. Okay, so he's gonna take you know, okay, so he wants to take Burma. All right, so now country count six to six. Mm, maybe Afghanistan there. Yeah. I'm trying to Just think of to why wants Asia. Turkey. I mean He's got Turkey Marshall does, he wants to give yeah. up, but I don't think it's really okay, worth yeah. it. Yep. So Turkey yeah, means means Marshall's pretty painless. I mean, you're not going to block this domination in Europe anyway. So, I mean, I don't really care about losing Turkey. I'd rather just put the two ops, like you said, into Afghanistan. Yeah, and now he's space. After all that, he spaces Marshall um, and is going to give up U.S. Japan. Yeah. So that makes the turkey play even more confusing. Uh, yeah, I'm a little... Okay, so he's just going to jam Japan. That makes sense. Force Ryan to use these ops. I believe de Gaulle is in Ryan's hand. I'm not sure what the other card is. But I guess he wants Ryan to not take Algeria, perhaps? Oh, he's just going to use China. Was it Destal? Oh, yes. I, yeah, I, that's right. Of course. Of course it was Destal. So no South America access here. Um, yeah, and he's going to have South to... America could be a could be your headline here. Quag, I, I guess. Yeah, I was wondering if we'd see the risky play of Panama being evented and then the coup of Venezuela. Oh yeah, that is also a possibility. Um, and obviously, if a USSR headlines a degrader, it's a huge issue. Of course, yeah. in that case, you could dump South America on AR1. ABM is also quite bad for that line of headlining Panama. Okay, and interesting. Uh, Harib decides to coup Panama and not get back there into Africa. So he's yeah, hoping, hoping okay. for the one fail of Quagmire and walking into Colombia there. Yep. So he was hoping for a failure, didn't get it. Now he does get the first space shot, gets the roll. Now he's left with a bunch of blue events. He doesn't really, not terrible, but not great. Yeah, uh, nuclear subs is an issue. Panama Canal is an issue. Uh, Kennedy, maybe not so much. Turn four, you know, I mean, Ryan obviously could have gunmen, but um, no yeah. really scary scores around. I think this is a good time to just get rid of Kennedy. You want to dump South America as soon as you possibly can. Oof, missile enemy event there could have been scary. Well, no, he has Che to give up, but still. Yeah. Yeah, nuke sub's kind of scary, giving up the coup and... Allows Ryan to threaten control of Africa. Yeah, I guess for nuke subs, you know, you you poke something in Asia or you poke something in Europe to try and get him to not coup. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would be dumping South America right now. Let's see if if Harib is going to try and do something with it, but this is not a great hand. 
Yeah, poke of Iran could be decent with nuke subs, gaining access to yeah, Pakistan, right. flipping it with China card. Yeah. So he's thinking now. So you could use five year plan to dump South America, but that seems like a waste to me. Then and then if you do that, you can't play the China card, and you have to give up Kennedy on AR six. That doesn't seem great. Okay, I don't really like that. Yeah, threatening dumping Europe for nothing and moving into Colombia. Yeah, and Ryan would be will be happy to take a swing at Colombia here, I think. I I would have preferred maybe a play with Asnot there going one Colombia breaking Iran. Yeah. That way if he coos Colombia That's... you take Pakistan, but I just think it's too risky. I think you just dump South America. Yeah, I don't I don't... And you don't. You also don't have a second target for Che. It'd be one thing if you want to get Columbia Cood because there's also like you know maybe Ryan's in Saharan states or something like that. You get mm -hmm. another target, but I don't know that that was a great use of the China card. I would be dumping South America. I would have dumped it two ARs ago. Uh, I actually probably would have dumped it in the headline, perhaps. Um, but okay, Harib dumps it for zero, and there goes Southeast Asia as well. So now zero dominations on the board. Ryan, I think we'll retake Europe Domina. Well, I don't like giving this up. Yeah, not great options here. I was thinking maybe you could use five year plan. Ooh. That's still scary, but. Oh, mm, I don't like that. I would rather. I mean, he's so. Okay, so I guess he really doesn't want to give up nuke subs, which makes sense. Yeah, going to finish okay, with but, ass not here. Yeah, but now, now you're just going to see... Now Ryan's just going to take... Oh, okay, well, okay, so he can't take Algeria. No, oh, okay. So Harib, figuring that Ryan has, D or has De Gaulle in hand, I, I assume he dumped D-Stall to um, Kennedy. And that's an empty action round, so Ryan won't not, not, will not be able to take, uh, take South Africa here. Yeah. Okay, turn five hand here. Not too exciting of a headline. Does have salt potentially goes DEFCON five. D stall still being held. He's gonna get bear trapped though. Okay, so Ooh, any fail. Oh that's a problem. That's a rough fail. Now two back uh, to back ARs for Ryan with DEFCON at five. Kuz are minus one. Did he, though. Yeah. yeah, that's not a that wouldn't have been a terrible bear trap for Harib if he gets out on the first roll. You get rid of grain sales. Now you can space Norad um, and uh, just relieves a little bit of hand pressure. And there's still you, you know, will be able to uh, you get a coup in. Now, Ryan, I would think would just i would assume ryan's happy with the situation in asia and would just try a coup here in nigeria or maybe he wouldn't maybe he would go into uruguay yeah that's what i was thinking defcon is five though yeah so you got three there you're gonna probably see three coups so i wonder if there's a play one uruguay and then one something else that Harib has to respond to maybe one uruguay and north korea poke Potentially. Yeah, that could be good. He's also going to want to get Europe domination back at some point. Yeah, just needs the two in UK or could two in Canada Panama to do as that. well. Yeah, tough choice here for Ryan on how he wants to handle this back to back AR. Yeah, so I think one Uruguay is good. You, I think you clearly want to get with with Harib. Obviously, I, I had forgotten that Harib was still trapped. Of course, my my fault on that. But yes, you, you've got to get into Uruguay here to get access to the bottom half of South America. Even though it's already scored, it's still very important. Yeah, unless you have something like OAS in your hand, he's just gonna dump Africa. I am very surprised. That is confusing. Okay, that suggests. That Ryan has lots of other scorings. Yeah, that suggests a that very weak a hand. Ryan's awful score. hand <laughs> to yeah, me. <laughs> that, he, that he has a big pile of scorings. 
Because, I mean, he even has the he, China card here. Why wouldn't you just coup Nigeria, play South Africa in a non-battleground and hope to get Africa? Yeah, at the, at the very least, Africa would be plus two if you just coup Nigeria, let Harib out, and then dump the scoring. So that suggests Ryan has... Okay, so he clearly has Europe. I mean, this... I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough to tell not seeing his hand, but... I I think Harib is checking for Truman here um, because this is a clear situation where I think you just jam France, maybe, because Harib... uh, Ryan showed a lot of weakness with those two plays. Yeah. DEFCON's still sitting at five, though. Yeah, that's right. You can't jam France with DEFCON sitting at five. You can can get realigned. Um... Obviously, that. Okay. Two Turkey. Uh. I think we'll just see him fill up Canada. <laughs> a, tur- a turkey coup would be, I mean, it would be hilarious. You watch a game of Twilight Struggle, you see something you've never seen before, you know? Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a coup of the two stabs in Europe. I mean, I've Other seen that Italy. only under Tear Down This Wall. Tear Down This Wall, I have seen you yeah. get a coup of Portugal or Greece um, to just try and flip a non-battleground if there's no good realigned targets. Um, but beyond that, yeah. Max pointing out correctly that he, uh, he can't jam France. I like jamming France as the, as the USSR from time to time. But yeah, uh, with DEFCON at five, it would be a terrible play. He'd be realigning it. Um, looks like minus three. Okay, you Siri, they're going to force Reeb to use a high up card. Yep. And now one of the things I always miss when the DEFCON is continuously high like this is realign opportunities in the early war regions. Mm-hmm. But I don't really see any on the board at the moment. Um, every, all the key countries are kind of surrounded by um, familiar influence. Yeah, and they're all playing chicken. They both need mill ops and DEFCON is five. Now going into the bottom half of AR5 and nobody with mill ops. Yeah, so does Harib have how I learned, to, though. Yeah. How oh, I learned would be an interesting interesting play just for five, just, for, to, just to get mill ops. But I think Harib also probably wants to use ABM. Okay, there goes D-Stall. Finally, mm-hmm. on a one-op coup of Colombia. Good gravy. He's just gonna use it the coup. Defcon's still five. He's just gonna use it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how important Colombia was there. I think I might have used it for. I think I might have used. This it could for the be event. a good break opportunity for Ryan here in Asia, South Korea, North Korea break, forcing him to either fix it or take mill ops. He's gonna coup though. Yep, I'm just gonna coup Africa, which I thought he should have done on AR one, but obviously <laughs> he couldn't have done it with Cambridge, of course. Yeah. Okay, so he didn't have the other scorings. Yeah, he interesting have, how he started that hand, knowing he yeah. had back-to-back ARs just dumping Africa. Yep, so Allende was clearly a problem for him. And, so, and now he discards Allende, but plays the China card. And I thought Ryan might have Gunman, but he doesn't. He does not. Okay, so ABM now to retake North Korea, I can only assume, or realign North Korea. Potentially get re- get greedy realigning somewhere else, but I don't think. Yeah, a little too scary for me. Yeah, I don't. Well, and I don't see any other good realigned targets on the board. If there were other good realigned targets on the board, I might take my shot. But there yeah. does not appear to be so. Obas is very annoying for Harib. Yeah, that puts uh, Europe control on the table. Yeah, and also um, takes Europe domination back. Again, DEFCON still at five. So Middle East, Africa, South America scored, leaving Central Europe and Asia. I think North Korea has got to be a priority. Yep, I I think you have to do that. I think that's the right play. 
And I think you've got to take back Poland right away as well. Yeah, really fighting here in Europe. Yeah. These, these, these Finland. Eastern European, like the, these European non battleground fights, some of these games devolve into those. Um, and they usually, the, you know, the, that generally favors the player with, with less access, uh, which in this case, I think would, would probably be Harib, because he, I mean, Ryan, the only on the remaining uncontested battlegrounds here, Saudi Arabia, obviously Harib, but with access there. And then uh, the, the bottom half of South America with Allende gone. Uh, so Ryan with an opportunity to step into Uruguay uh, and also very low ops the rest of the way here for Harib. And Max does make fours. a good point about that with ABM placing into North Korea and then realigning Poland and North Korea. That way he doesn't get the plus okay. one from North Korea and makes it a plus two on the real line. I mean, it's not bad the problem is yeah so so you get plus then you get plus three on north korea and you get plus four on poland so you're you guarantee it the problem is if you do that you are still you're going to have to you could give up a europe dom on ar1 um because poland was only at two yeah But I, you you could put you yes, you could put the third into Poland. You could put two you could put two North Korea and one Poland to put it at three with ABM and then realigned. Uh, that was an option. Yes, yeah, that Max Max is right. Yes, unless you put one more into Poland, that's that's absolutely right. And Max also points out Nigeria is a good target. It's he's Max says he's just spitballing. I think it's uh, you know would have been an interesting play. Uh, obviously, you know if one of those rolls goes six one. And you, you look terrible, but roll, realigning at plus three and plus four uh, is nice. And he's fighting for West Germany here. Not the greatest ops in his hand. Does still have China card. Yeah, he's still got China. And I think he's going to want to, certainly, he's going to want to space puppets. Okay, Ryan, gonna go ahead and put a stop to that. Can't remember if we've seen grain sales this game. We did, didn't we? It stole yeah, some. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, I think that was. I think that was last game. I think grain is was still a double around. grain sales. Yeah, last game. Either way, he failed the space attempt. So I think you're gonna. Would you? You're gonna. I guess Europe. Okay. Yeah. Central America still to be scored. So you know you have to hold on to five year plan for potential Central America or Europe. The game is going quite quick, and the UN of Brezhnev is kind of interesting. Does a Ooh. brush war here? Let's see what it. Oh. Nice big Panama. Okay, this is this is a problem for Harib. It looks like uh, A for P is a disaster. Um, he can five year plan Europe. Yeah, maybe giving up VOA isn't so bad. Yeah, you have to prep for it though. Still think you lead you Junta. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you've got to yeah, you got to go with you got to go with Junta. I think to just try to try and steal Mexico with Central immediately to be scored. You could go, you could go Junta into potentially Argentina, and then and then you coup Mexico, and you hope you roll a five, or you could go Junta into Mexico and just make sure you get Mexico, but then you're out of luck in terms of access to South America. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I want to do with Junta here. I might play more aggressively here for the long game and go Argentina, Cuba, uh, Venezuela. And then plays Venezuela. We grab yeah. two battlegrounds in South America. And then but that means you're giving up Central, probably for control. Yeah. And that's rough. You don't want to put Ryan uh, put Ryan up, you know, eight VPs, eight ten VPs, especially because you've got a problem hand here. Yeah. A special's not an issue. 
you could potentially just give up your upscoring for one, um, but that doesn't really help you because then you're just holding five year plan and uh, your two worst scorings are gone. Yeah, I think we'll see Harib space alliance and give up VOA. That would, yeah, that would be my thinking. Or he could potentially play the China card. That's the other option you have is you could hold both five year plan and alliance and play the China card. Um, if you, if you're able to weasel out of Europe for one, but yeah, and I can't remember where the China, I mean, we've seen you Surrey. I don't know about cultural. Ryan takes even more VP there. Realigns there. Um, I'm confused. I, that makes no, why not? Why not realign Chile? Yeah. Um, I, with only one in there, that, that, that makes why not realign Chile? I guess because Central for sure coming out? I don't know. But even, yeah, but okay, so you'd need a 6 1 there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I like Chile better. I mean, you just place and take Mexico. Okay, so yeah, he does take Mexico. So certainly Ryan will be going into Guatemala and prob probably be going into Guatemala and doing something in Europe to get himself domination. Yeah, I like Ryan, Ecuador, though, protecting his presence in South America. Yep. Yep, sneak down toward Chile. Okay, gonna give up just, one. Yeah. I mean, you know that's coming. So Ryan either's gonna have to fill Cuba here, or yep, just do that and give up the minus one. Mm -hmm. Yep. So okay, so her, it works out okay for Harib. I don't know how uh, how closely her, Harib is tracking cards here, but um, looks like. Yeah, oh, okay. So he knows Ryan's hand is not very good. Now he can get Alliance off. Still giving up three, though. And Yeah, that uh, makes VOA spaceable, but I don't know. Yeah, it makes VOA spaceable, and yeah, and Ryan also with Asia scoring. And Harib now with Headline Peak. Now Muslim Revolution is going to be nasty, um, assuming Ryan does not get into Tunisia. Ryan, I believe, knows that Harim has Muslims, though. Mm, gives up decal. Not too bad, though. So He's I think we're, I guess we're going to see one, something else. one Algeria, one Tunisia. Yep. Yep. So nice coverage there for Muslim. So we're going to take the event and take Egypt. Yep. Yep, that's why I think I would have, well... Yeah, a little bit of a rewind there. Maybe that was one of the hiccups for the recording. Okay, so the Middle East looks a little bit better now. Ryan's certainly going to take Libya back, and then Harib, I assume, will take Saudi with five-year plan. Lib's not really an issue with Central scored. All right, oh, covers. Two South Africa's open battleground. Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I guess Saudi's not that important. It's not, not contested right now. U.S. with no access. <laughs> yeah, yeah, certainly certainly one Venezuela, of course. Uh, yeah, and then, I yeah, think I like South, South Africa. Africa. South Africa's good, too. Potentially set up real lines on Angola. Yeah, I prefer South Africa over Saudi. Like you mentioned, USA player doesn't have access. I mean, they might have AWACS to get in there, but... Okay, no presence now for Harib in South America. Yep, so Harib does draw Middle East scoring. And so he has domination there. He's got headline peak and dump that nope. scoring. Shit. Okay, all right, let's... Should we pause uh, the video pause. here? Let me just rewind a little bit here.
All right, well, we'll take. I do spoil the game length here, but I think we'll be all right. Um, so this is before we barely got to see his hand here. Uh, I'm not sure if we get to see the headline though, but like you were yeah, mentioning, so he does have domination in the Middle East right now. Reformer, reformer, reformer gets you. Or and you're not going to be able to flip a battleground with that, especially with just a one four op. But you could potentially flip. Nah, well, I don't know if it's that great to flip Sporting with Greece, given that you already Ryan already doesn't have domination. Mm -hmm. um, so you could start a big ops war in uh, in Europe. You could just score the Middle East in the headline, assuming Ryan doesn't have anything threatening. Yeah. Ron Contra doesn't really do anything for you at the moment. Be more defensive than anything else. Um, yeah, I think you'd probably just go reformer. Yeah. Now, Harib obviously it depends on what Ryan headlines because uh, Harib has peak. Norad generally not that big a problem in the late war, but clearly Harib would want to space it. Okay, so let's see what happened here. It's hard to see with the graphic in the way. All right, so, four VPs. View. Yeah, so four VPs. So it looks like Harib did score a Middle East Dom. Uh, and given that we didn't see it. So Reformer was evented. Yeah, because we got two in just, France. Yep, just jammed there. Looks like uh, Harib got realigned out of Venezuela, no surprise. Um, and then Harib cooed Colombia, but too little too late. And Harib does and, take South yeah. Africa. Yep. So missile envy. Not sure if that was evented. Same with terrorism. I don't think terrorism was evented because he still has a decent amount of cards in his hand. Yeah, um, terrorism. I guess was not evented um, because Harib is yeah still going to be able to keep. Or Mosin is a problem for Harib here. Um, he would have, he's probably going to want to put both those uh, ops into Thailand. But overall, Taiwan, I mean, if you look yeah. at this board. Zero, zero dominations. Uh, well, one domination for Harib, zero for Ryan. Now, obviously, Ryan is two ops away from a control in South America. So, um, you know, big question here. So, how much progress can Harib make? Can he get it? Can he flip a battleground in Africa to get domination? Can he flip a battleground in Asia to get domination? Um, and can he do something about South America? And then, a, probably the biggest question of all: Does South America scoring come up here in the late war? Yeah, that's going to be. Uh... Probably a decider if South America comes out and USA grabs control there. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, sorry for the recording mix up there. Yeah. I think if, if South America comes out and Ryan's able to get eight VPs out of it, I don't see any way Harib is going to come back. But you know what? We will see. We saw some big swings last game. Maybe we'll see some big swings in this one as well. Yeah, so one of the coups from was Tunisia. I'm not sure if the other one was probably Colombia, right? I think. Yeah. And back on track here for turn eight wrap up. Both players and got their mill ops. Obviously, from Che, you got plenty. Harib decided to give Norad and not give um, Evil Empire, which is interesting because Ryan wants to fill Canada anyway for the purposes of Europe domination. Yeah. If he does it here, even bigger incentive to fill Canada now. Now, I, I assume Sock Govs is still around. Oh, oh brush war for, for ops. influence. Yeah, I was going to say he needs domination at least in South America. Goes for control. Okay, so a better hand here for Harib, unless we see a one small step headline from Ryan, which would be an absolute nightmare for our friend Harib. Yeah, not sure if we can see. He does have how I learned with. Uh, not, I thought he had test band. Yeah, he has test band as well. So he could gain some VP here. I don't think he can get the plus six though. No, he's not. He's not going to flip ten. Sure, he's no, not going to flip. It's kind of scary here with only East Germany and Poland at four. Yep, and reformer gone. Yeah, is Warsaw so, yeah, and evented already? I can't remember if it was used or not. Yeah, I, I, I think it's still on the deck. Um, 
And yeah, Harib, now we, we, if, we're, if we are talking about war games, uh, Ryan obviously now has the edge in war games. Harib got the tie last game. So if Ryan were to event war games at plus six, then um, he would, uh, he would w- w- win the game in, the, this, in this one, even though he's the lower seed because Harib did it last time. Wait, now, what? I think if you're Harib, you want to get Star Wars out of your hand immediately. Uh, because one uh, it's small two, step one, one, one is a series. Yeah. 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 So, so he has to have a win. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, you confused me for a second. I was like, did you get that right? <laughs> yeah. So sorry. Harib <laughs> must have the win. Yeah. I forgot the series is, it was a technically a tie. Yeah. Not a win for Harib. And interesting that Ryan just immediately gives up Iranian hostage crisis. Doesn't, doesn't even wait. Uh, suggests he's got, He's, he doesn't have a lot of ops because he needed to take Argentina back. Yeah. Now I think we'll probably see Peru taken to threat and realigns. Yeah, got to get domination our, in South America. Chile. Or you might just see Ryan be happy with... Nope. You, I was going to say you might just see Ryan be happy with domination and just take Uruguay because now Uruguay is an important country threat and realigns on Argentina. <laughs> yeah, not as much. He could always move into Paraguay. Yeah. Well, do see realignment and a nice Huge start there. Here. Yeah, that first one, so good. Yeah, oh. that was a lot of work and a lot of ops spent by Harib in South America to get absolutely nothing out of it. Well, one thing he got one thing out of it, which is. Ryan headlined Chernobyl and played it in Europe and instead spent the whole turn defending South America. Yeah, so definitely nice there. It does get a D stall here. Okay. Doesn't matter as much in a late game. Let's see if it gets placed in South America. Could fight on country count eventually for South America control. Yeah, boy, that's a tough fight to win. Yeah, especially that if they're already at five. Fill up countries at uh, countries like Bolivia. Yeah, you'd have to hold Colombia and then take all four of the other non battlegrounds. That is that is very yeah, tall. Probably order. too hard now that he's already moved into Peru. But South America control can be counteracted by Middle East here, and Africa looks like it's gonna be red, depending on how turn ten goes. Yeah, uh, but uh, just as Ryan is realigned out of Nigeria, Harib could get realigned out here, out of South Africa here as well. Yeah, it does have one in Botswana, though. Ryan would have to get a good roll and keep his influence in there. Yeah. Central is leaning red at the moment. Okay, those were just absolutely enormous rolls. Okay, so Hariba vents the war. Yeah, I wondered if I wondered if Harib might jack Defcon up to five there um, to really make a play for mill ops with war games in hand. Um, yeah. Okay, so here we are, turn ten. Harib now up three VPs. He's scratched. He's clawed. He's behind on the board, but he has this got Middle a East is really lead. scary. <laughs> he's got Marine yeah. Barracks here for the lead to kick him out completely. Goes for Brezhnev instead, though. Yeah. Harib probably realizing he's not going to win this one in final. Yeah, it's going to be close. Space race, and both CR- at four, two as well, is important. Yep. And Harib, and that's a, that CRG is a big problem for Harib. Yeah, that's going to turn Africa around. Yeah, and uh, Harib does not have a path to seven to seven VP. He's got a path to six, but not seven. Yeah, he would need help from Ryan. Yep, and uh, there's no way Ryan's going to give it to him. Uh, Harib also has three cards in his hand that give VPs to the U.S. Yes, that makes final scoring winning even harder. Uh, so you're in big trouble yeah this is starting to look like Ryan's game here 
Yep, I, I think Ryan's got it. Harib gives up the two VPs there. Really don't want to give up Camp David in this spot. Yeah, yeah and that, uh, that's, that, that's that should do be it. the nail in the coffin, I would think, for this game. That is going to do it, folks. So Ryan Pindelik, another American, uh, winning, uh, winning the OTSL this season and, uh, and avoid further insult there. Uh, yeah, Ryan pushing 20 so almost. <laughs> and gets the... Uh, that was a, t a tight game, though, going into this turn 10. Could have gone either way, I think. Uh, Ryan getting a better draw, and obviously the scoring card timing. South America was gigantic for this one. Yep. And, and so Harib looks like he's going to be able to take a presenceless control in, in um, the Middle East. Um, but it's going to have Asia Dom against him, South America Dom against him, and then mm -hmm. if Ryan probably can just get Europe Dom here as well. Yeah. Just with two in Canada, I think we'll do it. Flip set. All right, war game saving for the last turn. Oof, Ooh. and Africa. Jeez. Ouch. All the scoring cards coming out. Poor Ryan. That's one thing Harib mentioned in the chat. He was like, you can, you can have the better dice, but give me the scorecard timings. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But. Had that in a game last night uh, where my opponent was ahead on the board seemingly the entire game, but I won anyway because the scorings didn't come out until I could do something about it. Yeah. So, so yeah, great matchup between these two but, for the games were really well in the tie, but Ryan is going to take it down here. 3-1-1 one, and one will be the final for the series. Congrats to Ryan Pindolik on being the OTSL Gold Champion for Season 4. Oh, and he gives Fidel to Canada here, right? Oh, no, he's just going to break it. Wow. Yeah, that, that went south quite quickly on turn 10 with both those scoring cards coming out, South America and Africa, for control and domination for the blue. Yeah, and so uh, Ryan Pindolik, the captain of Team New Jersey, uh, taking it down um, for uh, for the Garden State. And uh, Harib put up a heck of a fight. Uh, Harib, as you may recall, Craig, was my pick to win it all when we, uh, when yeah, we did the bracket I remember, preview. Yeah. Oh, I fell just one game short of beating Harib, and then he fell one game short of, uh, of, of fulfilling my prediction. Um, but an entertaining series uh, nonetheless, and uh, just a, a fun one to watch. Yeah, for sure. Congrats once again to Ryan Pandolik taking down, becoming the OTSO Gold Champion. It's going to be the winner of a $25 Steam gift card. Harib's going to get a $10 Steam gift card. Uh, so well played by both those players. Great seasons. Looking forward to seeing them come back. Uh, and Ryan defend and Harib coming back uh, as well for season six. Season five. What are we in now? Season five, yeah. <laughs> yep. We're getting season up there five. now. 